uh, we are using shell method in this question so let me write over here shell method in any case we first want to graph these curves so here is the vertical axis y axis and here is the x axis the first curve is y equals root x origin so here is the root x x equals 4 1 2 3 4 okay passes through 4 x equals 4 and y equals 0 y equals 0 is the x axis this is y equals 0 so the area the reason we are considering is this and we want to revolve this area about the line y equals negative 2 so what is this point let us find when x equals 4 this is x4 y equals root 4 2 so this is in fact 2 and we want to revolve this about line y equals negative 2 so negative 1 negative 2 so here is the line y equals negative 2 we want to revolve this region about this line okay since we are using shell method we have to find the sample rectangle parallel parallel to this line so we want to take a sample rectangle here small width okay width is in fact here in terms of y so delta y small width delta y so this is the sample rectangle of a small width and this is our generic point x comma y okay this is x and this is y now <clears throat> we want to revolve look that delta y okay let me focus on this this is small width delta y and due to this delta y our volume formula volume formula v will be given in terms of dy and the uh, area of the sample region that will be our, in our case shell a y dy and this a uh, small rectangle this could be taken here all the way to here so anywhere in between 0 and 2 so it's going from 0 to 2 so this is the formula we'll be using to find the volume now when we revolve this sample rectangle about this line so here so we'll get a, a cylinder okay hollow inside so it will be so there to their distance same here and here okay so we'll have this rectangle hollow inside so basically a shell let me draw over here a smaller version so we have this in fact here is the x uh, y axis and here is the x axis and we are revolving about here this is y equals negative 2 x axis means y equals 0 and our generic point is here that's x comma y uh, I forgot to mention one thing since we are doing the integration with respect to y the curve should be written in terms of a function of y that means x equals a function of y not like y equals root x uh, let's convert this into x equals something if we square both sides then x equals y square so this curve is same as x equals y square so this is x equals y square okay now x is y square in fact this x now we can replace by y square so this x is y square and uh, we want to find the area of this uh, surface area of this cylinder okay so we need the radius and we need this height this will be the height okay this length is the height and this length is the this length is the radius okay so the surface area of this 
shell this is the outside of cylinder is area it will be given in terms of y 2 pi radius times height which is 2 pi radius so radius is this length you know this is 0 this is negative 2 so this length is always 2 okay, let me use a different color this length is 2 and from here to here this is uh, second coordinate right this is x y x is given by y square so this is 2 this is y so this radius is 2 plus y r is 2 plus y times height height of this cylinder so this is the height and we know this uh, look at look, go back to the original uh, line this is the fixed line uh, x equals 4 so from here all the way to th there that's 4 okay it's 4 uh, but it stops here so this will be 4 minus this length this is x x is given by y square so this will be 4 minus uh, here to here is y square so 4 minus y square is the height so 2 pi r h 4 minus y square finally the volume is given by then the volume that we are looking for is given by the formula we determine here 0 to 2 uh, a y dy so 0 to 2 a y that's the area surface area of the cylinder uh, we, we should have simplified let me simplify over here so same thing so that's 2 pi let's multiply these two basically foil 2 times uh, 4 8 2 times negative y square negative 2y square plus 4y uh, y minus y cubed can we combine anything no so volume is 0 to a y this is the area and we can pull 2 pi outside constant so that's now 8 minus 2y square plus 4y minus y cube dy and let's find this definite integral this calculus one done so that's 2 pi uh, entire derivative of 8 is 8x but our variable is y so 8y minus 2y 3 over 3 plus 4 times y y means y square over 2 uh, minus y fourth over 4 and we want to evaluate from 0 to 2 okay uh, 0 makes everything 0 so we don't have to even evaluate the lower limit just upper limit 2 so 2 pi outside 8 times 2 16 minus 2 thirds times 2 cubed 2 cubed is 8 8 times 2 16 thirds uh, plus 2 divides 4 2 times 2 y square 2 times 2 is square 4 times 2 8 minus 2 to the 4th is 16 divided by 4 is 4 and whatever we get that cubic units is the answer so 16 plus 8 so 2 by outside uh, 16 plus a 24 minus 4 20 okay 20 minus 16 thirds uh, which is 2 pi times uh, 20 is 60 thirds minus 16 that gives 4 4 44 thirds so 44 thirds 44 times 2 88 thirds pi cubic units final